Hello and welcome. This is the tutorial for the Red Dragon K582 RGB Pro Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your macro as well as set up the settings for your lighting preferences. So without further ado, let's get into this. After we have downloaded and installed the software, we're going to double click on the icon that appears on the desktop. Once we do that, it will ask if we want to allow this application to make changes to this device. We are going to click yes. Once we click yes, this is the application that's going to pop up and this is what we're going to use to do our macros and our lighting. For us to create a macro, what we're going to do is click on the macro button that's to the left, highlighted in green. Once we hit the macro button on the left that was highlighted in green, this is the next window that will appear. This here is for our macro settings. This is where we're going to create our macros for whatever key we want to set that macro to. Let's take a minute right now and let's go through the buttons we have available on the macro settings. So starting at the top right, we have plus and minus. The plus is to create a macro. The minus is to remove a macro. Record is to record the keys we are pressing to create the macro. Delete is to delete any keys we do not want. Clear is to remove all the keys that we have pressed. Cycle, that is how many times the macro will cycle through when we hit a certain key. And then we have OK and Cancel. We have Delay, so that is how uh, quickly we press and release the button. Bottom, down, up, and up top. So these are going to move the macros into different positions in our uh, key menu here. And then up top is going to be our macro name. So if we create more than one macro, they'll all be kept in this macro list. Uh, it's a drop down list. So let's create our first macro. What I'm going to create a macro for is Task Manager. On Windows 11, to bring up Task Manager, you have to hit Control, Shift, and Escape. I'm going to want those three buttons to be activated by one button, and I'm going to make that button the minus on the numpad. So to do that, we're going to hit the plus, and now we're going to get a macro name, which is a generic one, Macro 1. We're going to leave that for right now and we're going to record our keys to do that we're going to hit record and now i'm going to press Control, shift and escape and i'm going to hit stop now i'm going to rearrange the keys i pressed because they're not quite in the right order that i want them i want all the down actions to be one after each other and then the up actions to be after each other so to do that we're going to click on shift down and we're going to hit up to move it up. We're going to go to escape down and we're going to hit up until it's underneath shift. So now we have control shift and escape down all in a row and control shift escape up all in a row. I want to switch my delays to 10. We don't necessarily have to. I just like to because I find that it opens up the application a little bit quicker. So let's do that. And then we're going to hit OK. And that has saved our macro. To double check that our macro was saved, I'm going to open up macro again by clicking the macro button. Now that we know the macro saved correctly, I'm going to switch the name to Task Manager. And then I'm going to hit OK one more time to save it. Now to put that macro on a specific key, we're going to go over to one of the keys on the keyboard. And like I said before, I'm going to use the minus on the numpad. So I'm going to hover over that. It's going to highlight green and I'm going to click on it. 
after we hit the minus key, this is going to be the window that pops up next. This is the key settings window. So if we take a look on the left, we have single key, macro settings, and multimedia. So single key, we can actually change the minus to act like either any number or any letter or any other um, key on the keyboard. And then macro settings, this is where we're going to put our macro into the key. And then we also have multimedia. So we can make the minus key act as a, a multimedia key. So it can bring up your media player like shown here. Uh, it can be our pause or play button, our stop play, a preview track, our next track, our volume up or down, mute. It could also open up a home page, refresh the internet, stop uh, loading a web page, go back, forward, bring up the favorites, bring up our search, or we can even make it so it brings up my PC, calculator, or mail. We're going to click back on macro settings. And we're going to make sure our task manager one is selected, which it is. We're going to hit OK. Now, if we look at the minus key on the keyboard, it has a yellow highlight color on it. That is telling us there is a macro put on it. Now to set it, we're going to hit apply. And that should set the macro to our minus. So what we're going to do is drop down our application. And now once I hit the minus key, we should get our task manager. There we go. For us to activate our lighting for our keyboard, what we're going to do is click the box beside light. Once we click that, we get a drop down menu, a bar that controls our brightness, another bar that controls our speed. We get the choice of color, which we have some preset colors as well. We can hit other and we can customize our own color. If we hit colorful, we get all the colors that are available on the preset. And then we also have direction. Right now it's going to the right and we can also go to the left. Some of them will have direction for up and down. And there's a couple that have the direction of outward and inward. What I'd like to do right now is hit the drop down menu and go through the list of pattern choices we have just to show you a quick look at which ones have what options. I'm going to open the list up and it's going to stay on the right of the screen and uh, we'll quickly go through them. Starting at the top, we have go with the stream, clouds fly, winding path, the Trial of Light, Breathing, Normally On, Pass Without Trace, Ripple Graph, Fast Run Without Trace, Snow Winter Jasmine, Flowers Blooming, Swift Action, Hurricane, Accumulate, Digital Times, Surmount, Both Ways, Fast and the Furious, and we have Coastal. With Coastal, we have four presets of FPS, MMO, MOBA, and RTS. These presets have the most commonly keys highlighted for those genres. We also have six customizable ones where we can change the background and change the color of the keys individually. Hit the pencil tool and we can select color and the eraser to erase color. 
also with the FPS, MOBA, MMO, and RTS, we can also change the background color of the keyboard as well and still choose individual keys if we need to add one or remove them. I hope this helps you understand the macro settings as well as the lighting preferences. Thank you all for stopping by. I look forward to making more videos in the future. Everybody take care and have a great day.